cultural characteristics of any society stands as the pillar that reflects its norms, ethics and values in the eyes of others. It is also the guiding light that reveals the parameters of its own social identity. This social identity has been the key factor in bridging differences among various communities holding various cultural values. The Moors Islamic Cultural Home, which is popularly known as MICH, has been the hub of cultural activities of Moors and Muslims of this country for more than 75 years. MICH was founded in 1944 by the enthusiastic philanthropist Sir Razik Farid, who had a group of committed and dedicated men to kickstart the MICH on an ambitious note at 2nd Cross Street, Petta. 1965, they moved to their own headquarters in Bristol Street Fort, where it still stands tall. It was ceremonially declared open by Prime Minister Dudley Senenaike on 30th of May, 1965. MICH has made a huge difference in the lives of millions of people, especially in the activities of religious, literary, community welfare, youth affairs, employment and training, social and recreation, foreign relations and cultural affairs, housing and hostel accommodation, Janaza service, maintaining an elder's home and the women's bureau. The vision of the MICH is to strengthen harmony among all the communities living in Sri Lanka and widen the existing relationship and linkages in the religious, educational, cultural and social sectors and extending mutual respect to each other's religion and cultural practices. MICH soon gained respect as a credible body and also gained state recognition in comparison to other service organizations in Sri Lanka in the last seven decades. When we wanted to refurbish this beautiful room that we are, we are now, uh, which was built for the children who are being brought for the medical legal examination and uh, Mr. Omar Kamil as the president of that organization uh, helped us uh, uh, by uh, refurbishing this, color washing this and putting uh, tiles and providing some stationaries and toys for the children uh, who are being examined by us uh, for medical legal purposes. In 1961, the MICH embarked on a significant mission to translate the meanings of the Holy Quran into singular. The panel included Pinoris Vikramasinghe, Maulavi M.A.C.A. Lafir and Maulavi M.I. Abdul Hamid. The mission was accomplished after 25 years and a stamp was issued by the government of Sri Lanka to coincide with the momentous event. MICH started activities at Pasha Villa in Demetagoda in 1946 with the aim of promoting socio-cultural values for community development. All these service projects are successfully carried out here benefiting many people in the neighborhood. Their new course will be give a great opportunity to the school leavers in the neighborhood. Pasha Villa conducts a wide range of activities, especially targeting the youth and women, boosting socio-economic and educational development in vocational training for school leavers and unemployed youth. The Technical Training Institute duly registered with Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission. Most of our past students, numbering over 2,000 students who had completed their courses successfully, over the years are gainfully employed both here and abroad. Under this program, every year, hundreds of young men and women are trained and groomed by this program. 
The MICH Montessori House for underprivileged children plays a key role in the process of education. The MICH Women's Bureau was set up in 1975 and the high point of its activity came in 1983 with the establishment of the hostel in the well about the premises for girls pursuing higher studies run by the Women's Bureau. Most of the projects are self-funded by the Women's Bureau by organizing fundraising projects and also assisted by the parent body. Our vision is to expand the projects to serve our nation in the coming years. The MICH Women's Bureau organizes fundraisers to assist the needy in education and training as well as to help those during times of disasters and calamities. In 1955, Lady Amina Farid, wife of Sir Razik Farid, donated the elders' home in Markola to the MICH. It was ceremonially opened by Governor-General Sir Oliver Gunatilaka on September 22, 1957. The elders' home was further expanded and developed to a fully-fledged home in 2007 through the benevolence of Haji Elias Abdul Karim in loving memory of his parents, Haji Abdul Karim and Hajiani Zubaida Mohammed. Aging population is increasing substantially and we believe that we, Lady Farid Home has become a notable uh, accommodation to serve the needs of those elderly who have, if not, no home uh, in the country. This provides a dignified atmosphere for senior citizens to spend their latter parts of their life. Today, it accommodates more than 60 inmates, both males and females, who are being cared for and looked after in a dignified manner. Even in today's modern world, the cultural patterns and values of Moors promoted by MICH has contributed to its maintaining and upholding the values of Sri Lanka's traditional culture and upholding harmonious ties among all communities.